In today's session, we will be discussing residue integration method. We will be using this method to evaluate integral f of z a z over a simple closed curve c. We already saw that if you have an analytic function f, then this integral will be equal to 0. Integral f of z is it will be equal to 0 by Cauchy's integral theorem. But suppose we have a singularity z0 which lies inside your curve C. Then we cannot apply Cauchy's integral theorem. So our aim is to calculate the integral value if you have z0, if you have a singularity inside your curve of integration. Now we know that if z0 is a singularity, we can write the Lorentz series of f as summation a n z minus z naught the whole raised to n, where n varies from 0 to infinity, plus summation b n divided by z minus z naught the whole raised to n, where n is varying from 1 to infinity. And we already saw that the equation for b n is given by 1 by 2 pi i integral z minus z not the whole raised to n minus 1 f of z dz. Now we can say that if you substitute n equal to 1 in the above equation, we will get b1 which will be equal to 1 by 2 pi i one by two pi i integral over the curve f of z dz. And that will imply integral f of z dz will be equal to two pi i times b1, where b1 is the coefficient of one by z minus z naught. And we call b1 to be the residue of the function f at the point z0. So we call b1 residue of the function f at the point z equal to z0. And we are using this residue in order to calculate this integral. That's why it is called residue integration method. Now let's see how to calculate these residues. Suppose we have the function sine z by z raised to 4. I want to calculate residue at residue of the function sine z by z raised to 4 at the point z equal to 0. We you know that z equal to 0 is a singularity and now I want to calculate the residue at the singularity z equal to 0. So let's write the Lorentz series sine z by z raised to 4 and that is 1 by z raised to 4 sine z expansion is z minus z cube by 3 factorial plus z raised to 5 by 5 factorial minus z raised to 7 by 7 factorial, etc. And that will be equal to 1 by z cube minus 1 by 3 factorial into z plus z by 5 factorial, etc. So we can say that b1, which is coefficient of 1 by z, 
will be equal to minus 1 by 3 factorial. This is residue of the function sin z by z raised to 4 at the point z equal to 0. So minus 1 by 3 factorial which is equal to minus 1 by 6 will be the residue of sin z by z raised to 4 at the singularity z equal to 0. Now we have formulas to evaluate residues when you have singularities as poles. So let's see the first case. Case 1 is when z equal to z0 is a simple pole. So when you have a simple pole, we know that the Lorentz series expansion will be just f of z is equal to b1 by z minus z0 plus the positive terms n equal to 0 to infinity a n z minus z0 the whole raised to n. So residue of the function f of z at this singularity z equal to z0 where z0 is a simple pole is given by limit z tends to z0 z minus z0 into f of z. So this is formula for residue of a function at a simple pole. We have another representation to evaluate the residue at a simple pole and that will be given by suppose your function is of the form p of z by q of z and we have to calculate the residue of the function at z equal to z0. This will be given by p of z0 divided by derivative of q evaluated at the point z0 provided p of z0 is not equal to 0. So this is residue, another formula for evaluating residue at the point z equal to z0 for functions of the form p by q and p of z0 is not equal to 0. So let's take an example. Example 1. Suppose we have the function e raised to z by z. We know that at z equal to 0, we have a simple pole. Now, Let's take residue of e raised to z by z at the point z equal to 0 is equal to limit z tends to 0 z times f of z is e raised to z by z. So this is equal to limit z tends to 0 e raised to z and that will be equal to 1. So residue of the function at the point z equal to 0 for e raised to z by z is equal to 1. So we can also verify it using the Lorentz series. We have 1 by z, 1 plus z plus z square by 2 factorial etc. will be the Lorentz series and the coefficient of 1 by z is equal to 1. Hence the residue is equal to 1 for z equal to 0. Now moving to the second case. Case 2 where z equal to z0 is a pole of order m. Suppose we have a pole of order m. Now f of z, residue of f of z at z equal to z naught is given by 1 by m minus 1 factorial limit z tends to z naught derivative m minus 1 time for z minus z naught the whole raised to m 
it falls. So this is formula for residue of a function for an nth order for z0. Example, 1 by z minus 2, the whole square, into z minus 1. We can say that z equal to 0 is a pole of order 2. Right? Z equal to 2 is a pole of order 2. Now, in order to calculate residue of the function f of z, at the point z equal to 2 will be given by 1 by 2 minus 1 factorial. Z minus 2 the whole square. 1 by z minus 2 the whole square into z minus 1. So this is equal to limit z tends to 2 derivative of the function 1 by z minus 1. So this is equal to limit z tends to 2 minus 1 by z minus 1 the whole square and will be equal to minus 1 by 2 minus 1 the whole square equal to minus 1. So the residue of the function f of z at the point z equal to 2 will be is equal to minus 1. Thank you.